I got a question from subscriber Stephen Thorpe that sounds like this. So at a FPS of 25, shutter speed will be 1 over 50, but whilst in flight and I want to take stills, I ought to increase the shutter speed to avoid camera shake. However, my ND filter fitted is no longer suitable, so it's not possible to shoot good video or stills in the same flight. Let's discuss that further after the intro. Improve your drone footage by subscribing to my weekly tips, test and tutorial. This is an interesting question to a problem that you can run into if you have fitted an ND filter to slow down the shutter speed to the double of the frame rate. Light is changing during the flight. You have decided to mount an ND filter that matches the right exposure flying into the light. Then when you decide to fly in the opposite direction, you have a different situation. If you remember the drones we fly, the Mavic Air, the Mavic Pro and the Spark, they all have fixed aperture, so this is not an option to get more light to hit the lens. Reducing the shutter speed would definitely lead to more light as the sensor is exposed to light for a longer period of time. But it will also lead to an exaggerated amount of motion blur or camera shake that Steven is mentioning. And with no way of changing the filter during flight, you are trapped in a situation where you likely end up with a picture that is underexposed. When we look into the exposure triangle and we know that the aperture is fixed and we have locked down the shutter speed, the only parameter that is left to adjust is to bump up the ISO. The ISO is the sensitivity of the camera sensor. This is not ideal because we know that the high ISO often introduces noise to the picture, but this is basically your only option if you don't want to miss that crucial shot. The noise introduced by the higher ISO can be reduced by dehazing the pictures in post-production. In general, if you want to know the basics about using ND filters for your drone, and equally important how to pick the right filter for it, I made a video about this and you can access this by clicking this card. Thank you to Steven for this excellent question and don't hold back with questions yourself, either in the comments to the different videos or in the TechDrone Media Facebook group, which I have left a link for in the description below. Who knows, I might end up uh, doing a video about it. 